This is a tutorial about the directional scanner or D-scanner. Uh, the D-scanner um, is, is a very handy tool to kind of sort of de de determine why s ships or stuff might be. It's not exactly pinpointing stuff, more of a deduction. Um, you open the scanner by clicking this button or Alt D and what you get in a directional scanner, not the system scanner, directional scanner is essentially three options. You get some range, you get the stick box and you get an angle slider. Um, if you use this stick box um, it uses the same rules as you set in your overview settings um, regarding this types. So if, if I need to uh, scan for something different, I might scan, for instance, for um, pos mods. I don't know if there's any here. Yes, there's a few, <laughs> as you can see. So um, you can't see them on your overview because they're not, you know, on grid. But the scanner picks them up just fine. So you make yourself an overview setting that's handy for what you're doing, and then you tick that tick box, and then it uses, see, those rules. Very handy. Um, so how does this work? Let's assume that you're trying to find a ship in this system, and it's a bit of a big system. Um, the, f the furthest thing away is 44 AU. The range on your scanner, 2.1, uh, what is it, billion? I don't even know. Um, but the range in AUs is 14.4. So I can scan for planet 1, but I can't scan for planet 5. So if I hit my scanner, you can see this. Um, planet 1, 2, 3, 7. 7 is in range somewhere, there it is. Uh, but not 5 and stuff. So that's out of my reach. Also, I'm going back and forth a bit, uh, but this is personal preference. I tend to negative um, sort on type. You could, you know, sort on range, but it doesn't do a whole lot because, yeah. You can sort on name, but that's not handy all the time. I like to sort on type and then negative, so click it again. So you get all the asteroid belts here in my case, and all the planets up there, and all the o and, and stuff like that. The gates up up top. Um, I like it that way. You know, differs per person. Okay, so I know there's a ship there because it's me old. Um, but he's not on the scan. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, so we can assume that he's either at, hope at least, that he's either at planet 5 or at planet 8. First, let's go to planet 8. If you want to, you know, um, see if something, is, uh, if you want to find something, you're best to start from the middle. So if something is in a belt, I don't know, um, I will warp to the planet and check. Also, if you hit F11, you get this. Um, it's a bit of a lag. Um, solar system map, kind of, sort of. And if I turn the viewport, you can see that this turns the view here. And if I change the angle, you can see that that affects uh -oh, the angle over there. You see? See, that goes up and down. So let's see if there's anything here. No, this is planet 8. There's nothing here. Um, the other one was planet 5. I'm now warping to planet 5. I'll warp to planet. Warp drive and the thing is, because my range is 14.4 AU, I don't have to wait till I'm at planet 5 out of warp. Because I can do that, but that's, you know... Um, I can save some time by doing it while I'm already in range of it. Where is it? P5, I'm in range. See, that works. Ah, there's me old. Okay. So I know that he's in the vicinity. The target I'm looking for. Um, but I don't exactly know where. He could be at the station, he could be at one of the belts, he could be at the ruins, or not a planet. The thing is, because my range is 14.4 AU, I'm scanning essentially all this stuff up to here. So, that's not handy. I, I want to figure out if he's in my vicinity. Then you set it to some range. I always use 150 million kilometers, or 200 million is also good. And I noticed that he is still there. So, he's in my vicinity. 
So he could be um, at the planet, but I'm at the planet, so that's not possible. He could be at the station, or he could be at one of the belts. First, let's, let's check station. How do you do that? Um, well, if you click something on the overview, you highlight it in game. Let me show you. See, now you see it, it, it shows the name and everything. Now it's gone, and now it's there again. So what you do is um, you, you pick the thing you want to check for, and you just search for... I'll just do it the other way around. Um, difficult to see sometimes. Where is it? There it is. Okay, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to um, change the angle of the scanner. Because I change the angle of the scanner, I'm now essentially only you know, scanning that little bit. You see? If you hold ALT, you see the center box of your ship. So you can um, put it over it. And, uh, a bit laggy. And it works. There's a little bit of a problem with it, because um, if you um, do it this way, n now it seems centered, but it's actually not, as you can see. There's a bit of an issue with that, so you really want to be zoomed out to um, to do it, you know, j just on visual. But you can always use the old key just to be sure. We just, you know, checked. Uh, there's a station, but there's nothing there. I can quickly check what else there might be that's not on my overview list by unticking this box, seeing if there's anything there. No, there's nothing there. Okay, good. So it's not there. Right. What else can we do? Let's first check if he's still there. Yep, he's still alive. Um, I'm going to change. I'll, I'll open F11 for this. Um, watch what I'm doing here. You see them now looking north for lack of a better word. word. If I now change to 180 degrees, well, he's not in the northern half. Okay, cool. So he must be, probably, in the southern half. Okay, let's check to make sure. Oh, isn't that cool? Okay, I'll change to 90 degrees. Uh, he's still there. Cool. Okay. Now the thing is this. Um, if I set to 180 degrees, it shows me belt 1, 2, and 3. 90 degrees only shows me 2 and 3. That's handy. So it already is narrowing down where I should be looking. I can keep continuing doing this, uh, but it's not necessary. Um, because I only found, you know, two possible hits, so I can just click them again from the overview, 2 and 3, so two, um, 2 first. There it is. I narrow the angle again, and look at that, there he is. It doesn't mean he's actually at zero in the belt, he could be somewhere in between my point and, and the belt, in, in, you know, in a straight line in, in a safe spot. But he's in that direction of the belt at a very angle, a, a, a narrow angle, and yeah, short range, so we can kind of sort of deduce that he is probably in the belt. That's about the best you can do. And now I can just click to make sure and untick this to see what's more there and see that there's a bunch of wrecks there. Um, there's a retriever with some infiltrators out and a hulk and some giant secure cans and a cargo container. That's cool. Um, so, what you normally want to do, especially if you need to do it a bit fast because you want to find someone, you want to do it all in one go. Let's, let's test that out. I'm going to do everything. I set it back to maximum range. You get maximum range by just clicking and uh, uh, typing a whole bunch of numbers, and then clicking scan, and then the you know the game will just revert to maximum range. You'll see that happening. Now, because I'm going to do this while moving and in a bit of hurry, I'm not going to use five degrees angle. I'm going to use ninety or sixty. But you'll see how this works. I'll just walk back to P5, just to make it easy on myself. Let's check the scanner. Scanner is nothing important. Okay. Just keep scanning, because you might pick something up mid-warp. There it is. There is something. Okay, I'm going to assume it's at planet 5. I'm setting to 90 degrees. 1, 2, 3, still got a scan. 
uh, two or three is a scan. I'll quickly check three, three because I know it's a two. <laughs> Uh, where the hell is three? Oh, search, search, search. There is three. Quickly scan. Set it the angle a bit lower. Mm, so still could be possible because they're damn close together. It's not three, so it must be two. Uh, if I'm not making a mistake, and there it is. That's how you do it, and you do it purely by deducing um, range angle and using your overview and what's just logical. I mean, if you're looking for a Hulk. It's probably going to be in a belt, isn't it? Uh, scanning. <laughs>